Hello again, my coolest of kids. How is everybody doing on this? Feels like a Sunday, uh, Thursday afternoon. <laughs> and uh, you know, Independence Day was yesterday uh, on a wonderful, amazing, just splendid, very unique holiday. That is a very only United States thing, obviously, because that is our independence. That is when we got there, you know? It's a day where a vast majority of everybody has time off and has an opportunity to get together with their family, their good friends, and catch up and, uh, you know, barbecue and swim. You know, it's a beautiful weather. It's always it's the summer. It's the hottest time of the year. It's the most wonderful weather, the longest sunlight of the years right now. Uh, you know, you're able to actually uh, figure out where everybody's doing in their life, how their family's doing, how work's doing, any adventures that they've been on. You know, how all their projects, side projects are doing, any sports they may be doing, how their kids are all doing, how everybody's doing. It's wonderful to catch up and just, you know, be able to all converse and be in one place at one time and just be absolutely happy. It's a little weird. I think it feels like it should be Sunday right now because we just had a Wednesday off in like literally the middle of the week. Like I just said, wonderful day to have off. It just felt really weird going to work today. But, you know, and another thing, when you have like a holiday like this, a very United States holiday... <laughs> Your work is nest is closed, yes, but customers from anywhere else in the world, any other country, everywhere, are still calling and leaving messages and placing orders and wanting to speak to you and sending their emails and doing everything else. So then, when you go in today, you got all that work, plus you got the work that was, uh, you know, is piling up from today as well. And that's when you retail people, the people that had to work yesterday, people that had to, you know, actually be at work and doing all their different stuff, like with the uh, fast food and all of you guys, you guys all had to be at work yesterday. And don't, don't think I forgot about you. I have been you. I have worked in retail, many a store. I have been in fast food-ish type jobs. I have been even in a utility type position where I had to work all the holidays. But hey, bright side for you guys, holidays, pay. And today you didn't have a ton of work to do. Oh my God. But. A wonderful awesome just amazing little thing that my work does for people that have been there for at least a year well three o'clock is when our phones shut off no more customer service no one else can call in anymore and you're able to take your work with you as long as you have an internet connection and like a Wi-Fi you know a Wi-Fi source wherever you want you're going and uh, as long as you can do your work there you can get yourself all caught up uh, you can go to somewhere different a different place a different you know you don't have to be in that office confined in there just ah uh, me I came right here look at this park beautiful little park yes there is a little playground there but I'm nowhere around this area no one thinks I'm like a creeper or anything and what's Rob got over here He's got his laptop in his bag, got all his work laid out. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. It's a little, little steamy out here. But I would rather sweat a little, be out here in the nature, be able to relax while I'm doing my work and such. And uh, while I'm getting paid, you know, while I got here, I, I punched back in. So actually, technically, I'm getting paid right now. Shh, don't tell anyone I'm getting paid to uh, do this video for you guys. But <laughs> but anyways, no, I mean, Rob does a good job. I work my butt off. I do everything I can. And I understand absolutely realize that I'm very lucky to have this a lot of employers don't do things like this hey go ahead and just leave you know blah 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 but you know I'll just go ahead go work from home do what you want uh, no no I understand that I'm very lucky for that but what I'm trying to say is take advantage of situations don't take advantage of people don't take advantage of things like that if you see something and it might even require a little bit more effort, but you can tell that it's going to help you, it's going to further you, it's going to make you a happier person while also, uh, you know, able to make yourself get further in life, able to make you, you know, uh, you know, not for, like further education, able to further your work, able to, uh, you know, increase friendship, increase monies, anything like that. But you realize it's a little extra work or it's a little bit different and, you know, it's a little bit of the alternative. Take those chances. Take those you gotta take the kind of stuff and you have to embrace it you know I, I understand this is more like a like a a luxury type thing that I'm doing right now but you know when you have like oh if you can can you do this trip at work or blah 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 you know can you go to this just do this training and then you'll be able to do this and that and we'll give you a raise and a lot of people they're not comfortable with that change they're not comfortable with moving on they're not comfortable with getting into like another spot they get into a rut into a place into everything that they're comfortable with and you know what maybe they are doing all right maybe they are doing okay maybe everything is all is hunky-dory but things could be that much better you know never be happy with what you have i mean i'm not, I'm not, I'm not, heard that. I'm not with what you have never be happy with where you are never be happy with where you 
are, yes, have you what you have and not what you don't have, but, like, you need to make sure that you're striving to continue. You're striving to keep going further in life. You're striving to make yourself stronger. Don't envy things that you don't have. Like, I've said that many times. Don't, like, you know, be, like, a grouch about things that you don't have, you know, that other people do. No, that's not what I'm talking about. I'm talking about you're a certain place and you want to get to another place. You want to keep going. You need to keep striving, keep going, keep putting yourselves in situations where, you know, you've never been there before. You're not necessarily comfortable. Ross picking up all his papers because he blew all over the floor ground over here, you know. But, uh, you know, you need to further yourself. Keep going. Keep exploring. Keep trying. Keep, you know, learning new things. Keep yourself moving. Keep your world going around. Keeping yourself engaged with new things, new uh, techniques, new uh, people, new everything. You need to keep yourself on the edge. Keep yourself on the edge of your seat. Keep yourself in a state where you know you are happy with what you have and you're, what you're doing and everything like that, but realizing where and how to get further. Anyways, that's all I got for you guys today. You know, I just wanted to share a little, like, fun little thing that I've, I get to do for work and, you know, get yourself maybe to uh, also take a little chance here and there and everywhere and try to make things better for yourself because, honestly, that's the only way you're ever going to even be able to improve further than where you are. Keep putting out those positive vibes, creating yourself a positive life, and always, 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 always be the best possible you. Thank you so much for being here, and I will talk to you later, tomorrow. I don't know. We'll see. Have a nice night, guys.